We do a release drill here, and we do several of them. But this will be one of them that we work, and you can see the dummies, the little hand shields that we've got. Okay, this will be a double up move. It's, it's critical here that we try to keep our elbow in tight. We're trying to get the defensive back off his grass, okay, trying to get him to move with this quick foot fire, okay, and then clubbing down with that inside arm and trying to rip that inside shoulder past the defensive back. Okay, try to skinny off his hip, stack the defender, and get vertical up the field. This is an outside club. When you, when you club with your outside arm and you rip underneath, you, you want to make sure that you attack the elbow of the defender. Okay, you've got to hit the elbow of the defensive back if you want to get his hands off you. And it's a pretty good job on this, on this rip move here by 15, okay, of dipping that inside shoulder, okay, trying to give that defensive back very little surface area to jam, okay, as he skinnies off his hip and stacks back up on top of him. Here's just another view of it, what we call a double up move, okay, really critical that we don't dance in place, that we are trying to get him off his grass and we're closing the cushion or gaining ground on the defensive back. See a good job here, just quick club, okay, right over the top and then getting that, that inside shoulder past the defender. You can see here we're throwing balls to these guys too, try to get them a catch wherever possible. This is our second level release drill that we do. So you can see we put a defender on the nose of the receiver in press technique, want him to work his release. They're at the line of scrimmage. And then on any kind of vertical route where we've got a defender that may play on top of his stem, trying to work on clubbing here on the second level and getting hands off the receiver as he goes vertical on his route. Good job here by four of getting the defender off his grass, okay, getting by and then clubbing hard with that inside arm and finish him with a catch. Here you can see it from the rear view. Okay, Julio again, releasing on the defender at the line of scrimmage. Okay, and clubbing any second level defender and then catching the ball over the shoulder here as opposed to with the ball coming at him. Okay, want to bring our hands to our eyes, high point the football, and then tuck it away. Good job here of Hanks bringing his hands to his eyes seeing the ball all the way into his hands and tucking the football away. Here's our lean on drill, okay, and this would occur on a slant or any kind of crash route, run route that you might have an inside breaking route where the defender may be in press coverage leaning on you or we want to simply work the flipper action, okay, leaning into that defender, flippering with our arm, not extending the arm, okay, and getting a push okay, or, or an offensive pass interference penalty, but trying to stick that outside foot in the ground, separate from the defender and come in flat, be friendly to the football. Try not to drift away from the ball, but come downhill and be friendly for the quarterback. Then as we move through practice, we get into a release drill against our defensive backs, okay, we're simply just press coverage, okay, and again, foot fire there, okay, what we call double up move, good head and shoulder, this is, this is a speed release here. The defensive back is just turning and bailing out. Okay, it's not a hard jam. So Julio ought to squeeze back into him, as you can see him doing right there, trying to protect the red line for any vertical throw down the sideline, give our quarterback the box to work. Now here's an inside release here by Hanks. Really good job, okay. You can see of him getting his, his inside shoulder Okay, past the defender and then leaning back up on top and squeezing that DB out so that he can get separation at the top of his stem. A little bit of a wide departure here by four. Okay, we'd like him to be much tighter to the defensive back on this release move. He did a great job of getting him to jump off his grass, which gives him free access into the secondary. And there's that secondary club, okay, that you saw on the drill earlier where he's working and getting the hands off, off of him there as we run vertically down the field. Really nicely done of leaning back into the defender here and getting hands off down the field. Again right here another example of as we're running vertically down the field of us trying to get their hands off of us with just that quick little swim technique right there. Want to keep your elbow in tight to your body Okay, and just chop down on that arm. You can see right there on that elbow, all right, that, that you got a lot more power when you put it right on that elbow. 
Just a couple shots of it coming at us here. Again, a good job of Julio staying tight to the defender. Okay, He's not coming off the ball with a big arc, which would give the DB angle to cut him off. Okay, He's staying tight off his hip, leaning back into the defender, squeezing and saving the red line and the box area for the quarterback to throw the go route. 